Hey guys, Laz here, and yeah, we're back. <laughs> yeah, we, we got another one. After I uploaded like three, literally one today, two yesterday, so if y'all saw that, at least at the time I'm recording this, it's Friday. Um, but yeah, just know that this video is coming after those three review videos. It might just be a review marathon for a bit until Sora gets released. So yeah. Anyways, today we've got a bit of an older figure. We got Studio Series Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie. He is the winger of Blitz. He's this guy right here that you can see. I'm not gonna pull up the backdrop for this review because I don't use the backdrops too much. I just hit the camera. Youch. My bad. All right. You see, see the box. See the side. You got more Blitzwing right there. Got the product images and all that and i can transform with that i know the jet is not accurate to what he was in the movie it still looks really cool though so i don't mind it personally and uh yeah there you go there you go now um flip the camera a little bit we got blitzwing we got him in his jet mode. I have no idea what jet this is. All I know is that it looks freaking badass. And this guy's actually pretty fun to transform. Now, just to get it out of the way real fast before I show off other things with this guy, let's do a little bit of size comparison, mainly with what I got so far. So let's start with his uh, opponent, Bumblebee, though not in this mode. I just keep this guy in alt mode because I don't like how it looks like in robot mode. Now that's done, and then one more comparison just for the sake of it. Crap. Yes, it is. That is very. Uh, no, let me. Hold on, I need to dust off Prime a little bit. And that is. Yuck. I can't help it, it always gets super dusty in my room. And here he is with Prime. Zoom out a tiny bit. There you go. There he is with Bubblebee Movie Prime with the wrong trailer. That's all I got. And uh, yeah. So, while I put these guys away real fast, let's get into a bit of weapon storage because he has weapons and he can store them on his person. Unlike Starscream and Thrust, where it's integrated to the jet mode, this guy just has back storage. So, if you go into here, you see these two little holes. And this big one right here. Big one is for his gun. You just plug it in there. If I can see it. There you go. Plug it in there like that. And there you go. And then the hand, you can plug into either one. I just plug I'm just gonna plug it here, for example. But it has a smaller peg. And you just plug in like so. There you go. And uh yeah. Without further ado, showing up weapon let's get the transformation first. Obviously, remove these two. You also want to remove these guys. There you go. And there you go. Uh, first, something I do first is just... Just turn this around and put the landing gear away. Because that's where his torso is going to be. And now, we just want to take everything apart. Let's start from here. You want to separate this bit right here. You can really see it is separating. There you go. Just like that. You want to separate it here as well. Just like that. This is what I do first, just because it's easy. And then what you can do next is start going at it with all this. So you want to just untab everything in here, like so. You can't You can't see the tabs, but they're there. You just got to... Undo the tabs like that, and there you go. And then we'll deal with all this later. Let's um, start here. So what we're gonna do is undo all this away, and we'll deal with that later. Now we're here at the feet, at the legs, split this apart. And then what we're gonna do is pull fold at the toes like so. Same thing here, fold them out. That makes his wheel toes. 
And then what you're gonna wanna do next is fold this outer wing in, the wing, the fins on top, fold this one in, and then you wanna close it up like so. Make sure this tab goes into this slot right here, and then you wanna close that up. And then you move the foot in like so, and there you go. You gotta complete the leg, but to make it fully complete, turn it around, and there you go, there's a the leg. Let's do the same thing on the other side while we're here. So you just already flipped up. Here you got like this. Flip this in. There you go. It's tabbed in. Move the foot in. Turn this around. You don't have to do much with the hip skirts right there, but you're good. Legs are all good. Now for the back. Just flip this down and we'll deal with the rest of it later. <laughs> this sounds like a being lazy, but that's kind of how the transformation is. You also wanna, it's gonna be like that with that little hinge and you wanna pull it back. Save that like that for now as we get into the robot mode. So while we're here, let me turn on my camera. While we're here, we're going to flip this out. Cockpit can open, don't worry. And then you wanna move this. There is a slot in there. That's gonna go into that little tab right here. And there you go. Now with Blitzwing, what we wanna do with this head is uh, move it down. Ah, ah, I'm forgetting. I am forgetting major stuff, my bad. You wanna turn his head around actually, and then, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being dumb. I need to not be dumb. I need to not be dumb for like another five minutes. So what we'll do here then is I'm supposed to tab in here like so. You want to tab this in like so. I hope that's in. Put the cockpit up. Then you want to take this shoulder mounting area. Oh wait, <laughs> all, right. all right. I'm being dumb. I am mixing up steps. I don't know why I am, but I am. Then you want to flip this up like so. Well, that's the word it's supposed to be, but let's get his head through. I am forgetting everything. I am so sorry. Um, get his head through. Can we fit? Okay, we'll fit the head in like this. And then pull it back like so. It's hard to do on camera. But, yeah. We're supposed to... Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, I'm being all stupid. All right. All right, and then we'll just get his head in as well. Make everything go. I am being dumb. Right there, like that. And then we just wanna pull everything back, like so. You wanna get his head through. And you also wanna be able to lift his head up. There you go. While you're here, you want to also be able to move this. It's, um, ah. Ah. Camera, why are you making this difficult? Okay. 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 I think I got it almost. Put his head down. Let's put his head down a bit. It makes life easier if we do. Let me push it down like so. And then what you want to accomplish here. Okay. What you want to accomplish here is pretty much this whole thing coming over his head. We also want his head to be there. So what, we're gonna, what I'm going to try to do. Not turn his head around. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 
There is indeed a way to do this. I just need to not be stupid. I am fumbling heavily, I'm so sorry. And let's move the head up like that, and there you go. Maybe I think I got it through. There you go. There you go. And then you're supposed to get the head in. Like so. Let's make his head fit through. And not like that. Nope. in like so um shit I am going to get this right I don't know why I'm brain farting now <laughs> hold on let me see Okay. While his head is down, I was having a brain fart. You want to get this into position right here. You want to pull his head up like so. There you go. You want to flip this down, flip that up, and then we should. Oh dear God. Okay. You know, yeah. Let me see if I flip the head out of the way. Would it work? Okay, it works. Okay. There you go. So what you want to do is flip the head. Um, when you get to this point, I'm fumbling, brain fart. Get to this point, I recommend turning the head around. And then you want to slide this through. Bit of a clearance issue. Maybe you don't get it properly done, but once you do, once you do, I just did it earlier. <laughs> Once you do get it clear, there you go. Now it just sits like that. You can turn the head around. And while we're here, let's plug in the back. Like so. It's, there's two slots. There's gonna be two tabs right here. I'm gonna plug this in. There you go. And if one of the wings are not gonna do it for you, the wings are like this in flight mode. You wanna put them up like so. And it, gives you the accurate angle tips in robot mode so now while we're here let's pull let's swing some mouth out of the way there you go i think there's something else i did wrong i will pause and i'll be right back okay so what we're supposed to do back down like that get the head in and it's supposed to thoop in a certain way it's very tricky though well, at least in my experience, it's rather tricky. So we can get the camera down so I can just lay it. Because it is supposed to thoop in at a certain point. The only problem is this little thing makes it complicated. So it's supposed to thoop in here. Like so. There you go, like that. So his neck is supposed to be like that. Problem comes when you try to put this over because it does not, it collides with the head. So what I'm thinking is make this go over, but at the same time, make it do all this, you know. This is gonna result in me potentially breaking this figure, but it's at a point where I need to get it right. <laughs> So we'll definitely won't go over like that. What they want you to do, what the instructions tell you is that have all this folded up and then you put it here. So that you have this bigger little port right here go down mid to that little sector. Now, I have a hard time 
Let me see if I could just do it off camera. You're not be able to see it, but oh well. Because this thing is being a pain when it shouldn't. And it's genuinely getting frustrating. Because I can do it without the shoulders being in the way. But with the shoulders being in the way, it becomes very difficult. Very fast. So hopefully, if I just crack it open a little. Crack the little nose cone out of place. Like, move it out. And then we just thoop everything. Okay, I just dropped the hand. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it. See this for a while, unfortunately. Doesn't want to get out of the way. It's supposed to be in there. This damn thing doesn't want to cooperate. And this other damn thing is in the way. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. No, we don't. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's just gonna be doing this. I'm gonna just cut until we get to it. Okay, I got it in. That was a loud thud though. Okay, now just put the arms down. His head is okay. Let's move up the camera. And what we do from here is just tap everything as I said earlier, before I had to cut. Like that, and like that. Now we're almost done, let's just fix up the arms, put this down, and then what you're gonna wanna do next is the same thing here. And then these little panels, you wanna slide them up this way. Or not slide them up, but rotate them. Same thing here. Let us turn the hands around. Turn the little hands around, and then you want to flip this little shoulder wing upward, and there you go. Now, for a while, my, from my understanding, I think these might be backwards. No, no, I just looked at the box, so it's okay. We're good. Anyways, now we finally have Blitzwing in his robot mode. Now, while we're here. Let's get into a bit of articulation. Besides that, right. his head can look up a little bit, or a lot. He can look down into himself. And go full 360. Now, let's move the wings back a bit so that we have room. These shoulders can go full 360. Just move it like this. You have shoulder hinge that goes in and out like that. You got bicep rotation. You've got elbow, a double jointed elbow. And then you've got wrist rotation. On this side, the hand is a little bit special because you can actually, besides rotating it, you can actually open and close it. And that's for a specific feature which I'll show when comparison comes in, or after comparison. He... I'm gonna just say he doesn't have a waist swivel. He kinda does. Right there. But these things get in the way. 
so he it can't use a waist swivel. He can spread his legs out. He can do full splits. Uh, I unpacked that by mistake. Almost a full splits. These things can hinge out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have them like that. Yeah, no, they can hinge out. You have even less of a spread. You've got a knee that goes up to 90 degrees. You've got a bit, or oh, due to transformation, you got a bit of a toe joint. And you got ankle pivot and all that fun jazz. Now, let me show you a few things, which are mainly the accessories. One of them, which I have to actually plug in. These little things plug into here on each side. I completely forgot about that. Rip. And then what we do is get his arm cannon. Now, looks the same as Star Screams, but it's not. See these little tab, little not tabs. These little slots right here. That's where this tab plugs in. So we're gonna plug it into his right hand, like so. Plug it in both pegs. And there you go. Now he's got an arm cannon to work with. That keeps popping off. That's through the transformation. And then let's get to his this weapon. The weapon that he used to basically make Bumblebee to the infamous um, gag. Infamous radio voice gag. So you just want to pull off the hands. They're on a peg. And then you plug this hand in. And there you go. And we get a closer look. It's actually really nicely sculpted. And that you can see his fingers are there, his thumb on the one side, and yeah. So now let me just just redo focus. Okay. And now let's get into some size comparisons. Wait. Pull the wings back a tiny bit, like so. Let's get into size comparisons. So I think to start off with size comparisons, let's get his other buddies in here. Let's get Thrust in the back right here. And let's also get Starscream, the people. Who, the funny thing is people confused him as Starscream. Well, now here's Starscream right here to the right. And uh, yeah, they're all within the same scale, of course, just that their alt modes are drastically different. His is Earthen, these two are Cybertronian. And now let's move it on the way, because they look really nice together. Let's get um, only Megatron I really have, Siege Megatron. And just because, let's throw Siege or Earthrise Optimus. And yeah, they're the same scale. They work pretty well. And, uh, yeah. Let's get some deluxe size figures in here. Or, well, before that, um, something I found out with the Lita one just very recently. Girlwalk. <laughs> so that's what he looks like with Girlwalk Alita. Just because, why the hell not? Next, you've got Dropkick in his car mode. Yeah, so these guys are into scale with each other, so Blitzwing would be that tall. And finally, here's Bumblebee. Yeah, oh. Yeah, Bumblebee is that short. And I'm going to cut the camera, but I'm going to show you something very specific that I found about Blitzwing and why his right hand is articulated. And that's why his right hand is articulated in particular, because with a little bit of imagination, you can make it look like he's holding Bumblebee up in the air by the neck, about to do his famous line that basically means he rips out Bumblebee's throat, or his voice box. I'm trying to make it look organic. I hope I didn't break that stand. Nope. Let me see if I can get his hand in more. 
Because that's why Bumblebee, Bumblebee has that articulation going on. Let's see. I can get his hand in. Okay. I think that's the best I'm going to do. That's the best I can do. Alright. And now, it looks like Blitzwing is indeed holding Bumblebee by the neck and ready to tear out his voice box. Which, kudos to detail, that's a little gruesome if you've got the right parts to do it. But, yeah. Now, this also works to the off road Bumblebee. I just happen to have the B127 mold on hand. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This was a pretty long review, especially when I had the hiccup because I brain farted and then just got angry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a good one and stay away from Blitzwing if you want to keep your voice. Take care.